Welcome to the Art Lady channel. Today we're here with fourth graders and we're going to be making some cardinals in the snow. If you don't want to make a cardinal, you can turn this into another winter bird. You're just going to make it a little bit different. Um, you're not going to put the little feathers on the top of the head. That's up to you. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and get started on this picture. It's kind of like the birds in the snow. And I'm going to hold my paper um, horizontally. I did my original one vertical like this, but my screen is horizontal and I'm just going to do it horizontal for the example. But it's up to you at home or in my classroom today, it's up to you how you would like to make your bird. Because after I do the video, you're going to change this into your own picture. You can make, um, you know, nests if you want. You can add... Um, more birds it depends on on how you want to make composition more branches etc you can even put in in the way background you can do little cottages to make it your own picture maybe with the smoke blowing or the smoke coming up from the chimney of the cottage something like a nice beautiful winter scene is up to you but we're gonna go ahead and begin with our bird and I'm gonna start off in the planning position I want to start off with the eye because I want to put the eye in a good place. If I start it off with the tail, say I stay here, then if I do it, the rest of the bird, the eye may go off the page. So I start with the eye, so as an artist, I have control over where the bird is going. So I'd like him to be pretty much almost center in my page. So find, this is my direct center. So I'm just gonna jump over a little bit to the left. And I'm gonna do a small eye about the size of a pea, which is a, like a vegetable pea. So if you're looking at your pinky finger, it's, it's a little bit thinner and smaller than your pinky fingernail. From there, I'm gonna do just a small oval on the inside. Let me bring it in close up so you can see. It's just a small little oval on the inside for the pupil of the black. It's the pupil of the bird's eye. From there, I'm gonna do a letter C directly around this, the letter C. And then I'm gonna do, it's kind of an inverted, it's a C that has a point. Actually, if you just start with the dot, and then I'm going diagonally up, diagonally down. It's a sideways V. And from there, I'm going to do a one, I mean, I'm sorry, a horizontal line. And this horizontal line, mine looks a little bit long. From this horizontal line, I'm going to go ahead, um, it, and it looks like an arrow. And then I'm going to go ahead and connect from the top of this sideways V, connect on the other side. And that's going to form our beak. And now I'm going to connect this C right to the beak. This forms the black area that's around his eye or her eye. Now I'm going to make a U, a small U underneath. And I'm going to connect it to the beak. This is like the black spot that's around the eye. And then of course the cardinal's actual color of the feathers is what color? The bird, the cardinal is what color? Red. Red, Red, right. Now, on the top, I'm gonna go from the beak, I'm gonna go diagonally up just a hair. And I wanna round this head. So I'm rounding the head. And on top of the cardinal's head, he has these little feathers up, curve it. So I'm going a line up diagonal. And then I'm gonna make a shorter line diagonal in the back. It's kind of like a little mini crown, and these are just short feathers. So I'm adding some little lines for feathers. Let me show you close up. Zoop. Get the close up. If you need to adjust things as you go along, you can. Now I'm gonna make the tummy. It's almost a J curve. So I'm going to go from the beak, I'm going to come down, and then I'm going to curve it round. Now, 
I want to find the measurement here. So I'm taking my eye, and this is the black part, and I'm going to go over to the side of the head, and I'm going to continue this line down. So I've taken the what's going to be black. This will be, pla be black if we, once we paint it or color it in. So I go directly over horizontally, and I continue the head down and around till I meet that point. Now I'm going to form the wing. I'm going to go diagonally down and out toward the side. So I slowly go diagonal down, and I'm drawing toward the edge of the page. Now I'm going to come to that same spot we started, skip over, and I'm going to curve this, this is forming the wing, down, and then I curve it to the spot we left off. Now if you notice, mine did not intersect. If, they have, if yours does the same, just make it intersect by bringing it down. If you want to put a few little lines, diagonal, diagonal, to show these are the wing feathers. Now if you're at a point where you're going to be off the page, just continue drawing your picture. If you go off the page, just ignore the part that goes off. Some of you may be close to your edges. Now I want the tail feathers. So I'm going to line up the eye, and I'm going to do an imaginary line that's diagonal. I'm, I'm not going to draw this point. Watch how my hand is going to go. I start from the eye, and I'm going to pretend it's going to go diagonally down straight, right through the bird. Look, I did not draw. This is where my tail's going to be. Eye, right through the bird, and then it's going to start here and go right off down long. And mine actually goes right off the page. But you don't draw through the bird. Stop. Now this is where the tail will line up now. Now I can continue from the beak, from the beak, from the wing, di diagonally down, and then I'm going to curve it to meet. I can do another wing tail here, diagonally down, and then give a curve to meet. These are the tail feathers diagonally down and have it meet. You can add some more diagonal lines, shorter and vary the height of the lines. And that's basically how to draw that cardinal. Now this cardinal is going to be standing on or sitting on a branch. So in this lower area of that letter J, I'm going to make backwards letter C's. This is, this is going to be the hook of the, fo the foot. Just a few backward C's. And then I'm going to draw a branch now. These are his toes, claws. Now the branch from the tail comes out and go right to the edge of the page. And notice how I kind of slope mine downward. The branch is as wide, is as, wide as the toes. Come over, and you can slowly taper it thinner if you'd like. Behind the bird, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to just go behind him and extend my line. Now, there's one cardinal in the snow. Actually, he's just in the he's just sitting on the branch. And of course, if you want to add your snow to him, you can. Now, you can go ahead and put in other tree branches. So starting from the top, and I'm not going to touch the corner, I'm just going to jump over a little bit, diagonal down, and I'm going to bend it behind this branch. This is overlapping in our composition. One is in front of the other. So I'm going to do the same again, and then I'm going to continue down. Now on this branch, I'm going to put the second cardinal. And this is going to be the front view, kind of a front view of the cardinal. I'm going to start up here, and I'm going to put a horizontal line. From the horizontal line, I'm going to do an oval and another oval. <coughs> Inside the two ovals, I'll put little black dots. And they're pretty small. 
Now from here, I'm going to draw a letter V. This is the, like I said, it's the front view of the cardinal. Curve on the top. <coughs> and I'm curving round, curve round. Now for this, I'm going to curve out a little bit right to the branch. I'm going to do the same on the other side, but I'm going behind here. I'm going to add, it's going to be a letter V. It's a diagonal line, then come back up. This is going to form part of its tail. And now I'm going to come diagonal. And I'm going to flare out toward the center here. Diagonal. These are forming, of course, the tail feathers. And do a couple other diagonal lines. But look how I varied the height, the length. And then I'm just U-shape, U-shape, U-shape. You can put some U-shapes in here, too, or Vs. This is just the smaller tail feathers. You can see how his body is behind. Now, usually their wings are tucked up. If you want to put a little bit of a curve here for the second wing, the side wing, you might see a little bit of this wing. And if you want to put a little V down and back for the wing on the other side of the body. And this whole area here would be his tummy. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put a C curve here. Some C curves to show part of his foot and then a straight line. This is one foot. The other leg is going to be behind the branch. And there, and then, and there's our front view cardinal. Now I do want to put some decoration in here because around the cardinal's eyes, so just draw a shape around the eyes. This area is black. So I'm doing a shape around the cardinal's eyes. And then for the top of the beak, I'm going to do an A shape. I didn't put the cross in, I just went up and down. Let me show a close-up view. So this was up and down for the beak of the cardinal. Now at this point, this is where you can add your branches. You can put in branches, and I taper them. I go out. Branches are thinner where they end, and then they get thicker where they meet. And then, of course, you can add branches coming down to help your composition. And then add as many other cardinals or winter birds as you'd like. If you want to put some snow, let me show you how you make like a pile of snow on a branch. It's just kind of a little pile. Like you go off the branch, up, back. And then if you want to have some dripping icicles, you could. So it's a little bump up, connect to the branch. And then a little line down, very skinny and pointy. These are like little icicles on the branches. Kind of look pretty. So the icicles dripping down in the winter. Depending on the branch, you might have little berries on the branches. Depending on what he's landing on, what plant. So if you want to put some little berries, this will give you another opportunity to color in red. So you'll have a, a mostly white picture with a little bit of white or brown for your branches. And you can just invent your little winter scene with your beautiful birds in the winter. So have fun creating your cardinal scene. And now I'm going to look and see what I've got for my kids here. And this is, no, he's done right now. Actually, what I'll do is I will uh, show you in a minute when the kids finish. If you just continue watching, you'll see the kids' examples. And this is the finished products of our fourth grade kids today. Didn't they do a great job? Here's a variety of compositions. We even have some of the background. I love the little cottage in the background here. And we have some of our creativity with our little hats added to them. 
And again, you can add any color. If you don't want to do the cardinal, you don't have to. You can put any color on. Um, but all the little things that you add to it, make it special and make it your own. So leave a comment and let me know how you did with your 